The production flow basis function is to direct the fluid flow from the tree to the manifold via the jumper. The flow base allows for subsea monitoring with the inclusion of a retrievable process module or RPM. The RPM contains a wet gas flow meter to monitor the produced fluid components. On deck, the shipping caps are removed and the marine growth covers are put in place. Once the RPM hub cap is removed, the dummy RPM can be installed into the mounting base. The dummy RPM will be installed in the same way as the production RPM using the MPRT. Once installed, the RPM clamp gaskets can be tested. These processes are detailed in the Mars Equipment Installation Animation. As the dummy RPM adds weight to one side of the flow base, extra counterbalance weights are added to the other. The RPM impact cover is then installed above the dummy RPM ready for deployment. At this point, the latch cam assembly in the centre ring can be adjusted so that the flow base lands off on the wellhead in the correct orientation shown on the field layout. As the flow base centre ring and also the flow base running tool are GE designed equipment, the GE operating procedure should be followed in the setup and running phases. Guide cores, used for guiding the tree connections onto the wellhead and floor line, are installed into each corner of the floor base, and pins are inserted to lock them in position. Guide wires are connected to each post using guide wire anchors that lock into the post tops. The running tool is lowered over the floor base on drill pipe and lands off on the centre ring. The connection is made to the floor base with the J slots of the running tool locking onto the pegs on the external surface of the centre ring. To ensure the running tool stays locked to the flow base, a pressure of 200 psi should be applied via the hot stab receptacle on the running tool. This functions the line for the locking mechanism without shearing the shear pins. The running tool will rise in position to fully lock the tool. At this point, the hot stab should be plugged and the pump removed. A final visual check of the flow base and running tool should be carried out to ensure all caps are in place and there is no damage or obstructions. The equipment can now be run subsea through the moon pool using tug wires on the drill pipe when necessary. The flow base is lowered until it reaches a point above the wellhead where it stops and the ROV takes hold to help guide it into position. The ROV then maneuvers the flow base using the large grab handle before it lands off completely. When the flow base is fully landed, the ROV will check the bullseye to determine the structure's alignment. To lock the flow base to the wellhead, the ROV removes the dummy hot stab from the main receptacle and places it in the parking position next to it. It then inserts its own hot stab into the main receptacle and the function line for the locking mechanism is pressurised to 3000 psi. As the pressure increases, it drives the lock sleeve down, which shears the shear pins and energises the lock ring to lock the flow base to the wellhead. Once the flow base is locked, the hot stab is removed and the dummy hot stab is replaced.
DROV moved a safe distance away from the structure as the running tool is rotated clockwise and the J slots are unlatched from the pegs on the floor base. The running tool is then retrieved back to the surface, leaving the floor base securely attached to the wellhead.